this is pattern making. I want to show you how I made this pattern for casting brass flywheels. Here are some brass rings I got on eBay, relatively inexpensive, about $2 a piece. One of the most helpful pieces of advice I got from a fellow YouTuber was to include a draft angle. It really helps releasing your patterns out of the mold. I'm using the 6 degree angle for this flywheel. I'll be cutting a 6 degree taper on the inside of this flywheel and the outside of the flywheel. Being newly introduced to the draft angle, I decided to go with a half round for my spokes. I'm using a quarter round bit and I'll flip the piece of brass over to create my half round for my spokes. One thing to note is I'm designing this on the fly. I don't have any plans that I'm following anything. Just whatever happens to pop into my head at the time. It's time to figure out these spokes. With the length of brass, I divide it into three sections, and then I'll take it over to the bandsaw and cut the sections. With the cutting complete, now it's time to finish the inside of the spoke and I have to follow the pattern of the hub. Um, I have these lifted up on the front to, to simulate a six degree angle so when they fit together, they fit together straight. Here you can see it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Here I'm making the hub and I'm putting the six degree angle on the inside of the hub. If you notice I'm leaving the front of it uh, straight and this is so I'll have something to grab onto when I want to finish uh, the spoke pattern. So now let's go ahead and lay out the hub and the spokes. A lot of times you watch my videos you'll notice I use super glue. In this case I decided to go ahead and solder these pieces together. After it cools off, let's see what we've got. Now let's head over to the lathe and clean up the spokes and the hub. Now let's test fit these together. It's not fully machined, it's just a dry fit. I want to see how well the six degree draft angle fits together. Yeah, that fits together good. Really nice. Now we'll clean up the back of this assembly and cut the diameter down so it'll fit the ring perfectly. Take a look at that fit. Nice. Here I'm just checking to see that the back is truly flush. We're getting pretty close to done now. To finish out this hub and make it look pretty nice, 
I'm going to use this pattern. Thank you for watching and if you like these videos please subscribe.